Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Hypozilla, and we are doing another theory video on, yes, you guessed it, Godzilla vs Kong. Now, a little bit of information has come up in the past a couple weeks, <clears throat> and an old, um, an old sort of footage has surfaced online, <coughs> and that is uh, some military team shooting at a monster in Australia and it made Australian news uh, this was sometime last year I remember watching it I remember seeing that footage last year and um, they're actually shooting at Godzilla that's not a spoiler they actually say it in the clip if you just listen <laughs> now this is because there is a new organisation in Godzilla vs Kong uh, called Apex and these are a group of people that believe humans are the top of the food chain they believe they're better than everyone else all the titans should die regardless of whether they help the world or not so they find out my theory is this They find out that they are that Monarch are building something on Skull Island. So a small team of people go over to Skull Island and they see this giant mech that looks like Godzilla and they and, and then they're there like or uh, they might even have inside eyes and ears. Whether alright, so the building mech of Godzilla and it has this projection system where it looks like Godzilla and this is where we're going about this toilet that came out about a month and a half ago, a month or two months ago with Mega Godzilla and that has a sort of and Mega Godzilla is this has this sort of exoskeleton and this brings me on to the main theory Some character, presumably Alexander Skarsgård, because we know he'll be on Skull Island, will disguise as a monarch operative. He will go inside Mechagodzilla and he will begin to operate it. Then he will wipe out the monarch base. Um, I mean, he might have a. He, you know, he will just say, oh, alright, we'll just run some tests. He'll get in. Activate Mechagodzilla, destroy the Monarch base, then proceed to kill skull crawlers, um, m destroy mountains, everything like that, to draw out Kong. So Kong is there uh, on the other side of Skull Island, or uh, or can see Mechagodzilla clearly, and he starts charging towards Mechagodzilla, and by this point this projection has appeared and it looks like it's Godzilla and so you know Godzilla quote unquote destroys uh, Skull Island killing everything destroying the Iwi tribe when it's actually some member of the Apex inside um, Mechagodzilla so then that, again that draws out Kong, Kong probably gets his ass kicked or something like that or he just watches in horror as his place is destroyed, he has n he can't react. Anger, hatred, to pretty much the same thing, anger, hatred, fear, um, just rem empathy for everyone that's dying or everything that's dying so then I would say Godzilla quote-unquote leaves via the ocean but then uses it uh, uh, and then the disguise comes off and he goes away probably by a jetpack or something Godzilla senses something is wrong in the balance of nature so he goes somewhere near Skull Island 
And he already sees something zoom past. But he's focused on going to Skull Island. So then Godzilla comes on to Skull Island. He sees the ruins and he's confused. What did this? I didn't do it. I'm pretty sure the protector didn't do it. So he looks around and he sees Kong there, stood there. And the second he does, Kong might charge towards it. It might even take place on an aircraft carrier. It, it, it already does take... The fight, a little bit of the fight already does take place on an aircraft, car uh, aircraft carrier. So... Kong, uh, so, so they might be in an aircraft carrier. That, uh, or they will definitely be on an aircraft carrier, is what I'm trying to say. And it could be by Skull Island, it could be in the middle of the ocean, it could be just on a beach. You know, and Godzilla, Kong, you know, walks up to Godzilla and inspects him, you know. Uh, you know, it's like, he's the one that destroyed Skull Island. He's the culprit. He is the destroyer. He's the murderer. So Kong just goes in, punches him at the side of the face. Godzilla looks unfazed, and Kong gets sent flying. They have a little bit of a fight. But then Godzilla realises that he's being framed. And then he senses other titans around the globe are being killed off by Godzilla. Quote unquote. Around the world, you know, there's news coverage. Oh, Godzilla's turned on mankind. This is Godzilla destroying everything. So then Godzilla is seen as the bad guy until he actually starts, you know, until the final fight where, you know, Godzilla and Kong are fighting in Hong Kong. And then Mecha Godzilla comes in soon after, potentially with the disguise, and it's to finish both Godzilla and Kong off. So then both Godzilla and Kong look at each other and they're like, "We've been f fighting for absolutely no reason this entire time. We've got no reason to fight." So they put aside the differences. Now, both Godzilla and Kong are intelligent. Both of them show empathy, remorse, forgiveness. And, you know, they'll look at Mecha Godzilla, or it might be Godzilla immediately lunges uh, for Mecha Godzilla. Kong might be a bit hesitant, like, oh, there might be humans in that because it actually looks like Mecha Godzilla. And, it will be there like Mechagodzilla is there to destroy Godzilla because he's the one causing all this destruction when the reality of it is it's all a big rude it's all a big lie it's to put Godzilla as the bad guy and in a way Godzilla will be in a, a, a bad guy in the film but not in the way you might think but yeah they uh, I mean, that's where pro the team up thing will probably come together. <clears throat> and I feel like depending on who wins, the fight will probably continue a bit, a little bit, or something, I don't know. But then one of them will just back down. So that's really the theory. We haven't got a trailer, we haven't got an official image apart from this one poster. We've actually got three of the same poster now. Um, we've added one for the Playmates line. But... That's really the theory, that's all. Let me know what you think of this and what you think will be Mechagodzilla's role. I believe, I, 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 I'm doing this shortly after Dangerville uploaded this video, I admit, I watched his video and I was like, oh right, yeah, I can, I can connect the dots, I can, I can see that happening. The hologram projection thing with Mega Godzilla and the big exoskeleton, I feel like that can be a bit, eh, but we don't know.
it could actually be a big projector. It could be to boost Godzilla's atomic breath. It could be to drain Godzilla's atomic breath. Even though they call him Mega Godzilla. <laughs> we just don't know. So again, what do you think of this? Do you think Mecha Godzilla will have a small role, or will he have, will he be the primary antagonist that, like I hope, I, like that we can actually get this villain in the MonsterVerse that's actually done right. Muto's were good; they were they felt right, but that there was something lacking in them. With Ghidorah, he was this criminally un criminally underused, and they cut off well over an hour of the film. Even I, I think something like a quarter of the fight from every fight in the film was cut. <laughs> so it's just ugh. I like King of the Monsters, but you got to admit it's a disaster. It's a clusterfuck of the film. Anyway, that is all for this time. Thanks everybody for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this theory and what you want to see in Godzilla vs Kong. Bye bye.